this is a turbocharger, fair size one, off a 3406 Caterpillar motor in a 1990 Peterbilt, sure, yeah, 379. So, uh, Buddy's having some issues with the turbo and not building enough boost, getting our EGTs down and such. So is it the wrong mapped turbo for the fueling of the motor or is it something else? One thing we noticed in this slip connect, uh, coupler, uh, slip connector coupler, it's a double O ring booger that goes on here. There's an elbow on the turbo that came off the truck was really worn. We're wondering about boost loss there and if we're just not getting the boost that we're building. Building about 20 to 24 pounds depending on your load, but still not flowing enough to cool off the truck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out if we have a boost leak. And to do that, we're gonna make a plug that will basically fit into the rubber coupler that goes on this side of the turbo. And that's gonna be made out of that. Something just dirt cheap, simple. Then we're going to pressurize the system with up to 20 plus pounds of uh, air and we're going to walk around with a spray gun with soap and water and spray it on all of the fittings and see if we got any leaks as well as on the intercooler. Alright, so nothing fancy with this. You could make this plug out of a uh, pipe, whether it's aluminum, steel, whatever. Pretty much a PVC end cap with a short piece of pipe would work. The intake piping plumbing that we're dealing with, it's all six inch on the inside diameter. So what we can do is we can go get six inch ABS or uh, white PVC pipe, get us an end cap, might even find something that'll fit inside. We'll just take a short piece of pipe and glue that into the end cap. And then we can drill and thread a couple of, one, we could just put a Schrader valve in there, or you can put in a hose bib end a hose end for your air fittings, just a quarter inch or three, uh, three eighths bugger like that. And uh, you could also put a, um, uh, where are my words? You could put a pressure gauge on there as well. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna get like a couple of angry beavers, cut one out of this cabinet grade plywood. There's a whole bunch of layers in there, so it's not gonna blow apart with uh, 20, 30 pounds of pressure in there. And then we'll uh, we'll do a little homeboy whatever to get that thing in there, eh? And then to regulate our air pressure, we've got this super fancy uh, compressor, and we'll just back this off all the way down, and then we'll just feed it a chosen amount of uh, pressure, because there will be pressure leaking down. What we're doing is we're pressurizing the charge uh, cooler and the entire air system going into the intake of the motor from the turbocharger through the intercooler with uh, positive pressure. So it will leak, it'll go through the engine, through the valves, and it will possibly leak down through the um, piston rings. It'll just leak down a bit, no big deal there. So we're going to run a constant, say 15 to 20 pounds to start, and the constant flow will help us to be able to uh, check the entire system with soapy water, looking what for, for bubbles. And of course, bubbles means they're a leak. So we, want, we don't want any bubbles, no bubbles. But if there are not bubbles, it means we have to get a different turbo. Okay, so now we'll pull this boost tube, or actually that's the intake tube. We'll clamp that sucker in there. All right, so pretty easy. Just take our plug we've got made and put her in our tube. Easier than said and done, at least with one hand. So there you go there. Then bring our band clamp back on and over. Make sure it's on there square. And then we'll go ahead and get that tightened up. Okay, we got our plug in. We'll see if we can't blow it out. So we'll just hook our air fitting up to there. And go ahead and start charging it. So we'll turn her up until she just sets going and put about 10 pounds in it. So now with it airing up, we run around, 
and we spray a little soapy water on things and we look for bubbles like that. All right, so we got her checked in about 10, and we'll turn our pissies up to about 20, 25. We'll go kind of easy. And we'll go ahead and check. Earlier, this one was leaking. Oh no, we're almost out of the juice. But, it looks like we got her tightened up. <laughs> that one might still be leaking a bit. But we got her charged up to 25 pounds in there. And you can hear it coming through the block. That's leaking, but that's, I mean, that should be tighter, but it's not. That's the intake. Go around and have a look at the intake side. You just seen we went ahead and did our intercooler. So, it looks about good. So there you go, pretty dirt cheap way of doing it with that plug there. And you gotta watch out because that thing might blow out, so keep that in mind. But it uh, shouldn't cost you nothing. Chunk of uh, plywood and a fitting and or whatever All you got. Right, so there you go, that has it. That's uh, testing your air system. So we do know that with our fuel and turned up where it is, that that turbo is not big enough now. And so we're going to be going with a bit larger single turbo with a wastegate. But we definitely found a few leaks, so hopefully that helps you out.